Have you ever recorded an interview or podcast with multiple cameras and it just takes absolutely forever to edit it? Well, I'm going to show you some tricks that's going to make your life a lot easier. So we're inside Final Cut Pro today and once you import in your footage, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to select your camera angles, your main camera angles. So you'll select your camera angles, shift click on both of them and then you're going to do a new multicam clip. You're going to doesn't matter what it's titled, camera angle, video format, ProRes, all of that, uh, angle synchronization, automatic, that's what I do it on. What it's going to do is it's going to use the audio in order to sync the clips up. So it is synchronizing the clip. So once you have your clip, you're going to drag it to the timeline. And now what's really nice is you can double click on the clip and you can go in and edit everything. I'll add my effects to everything. So what's really nice is you can edit both clips inside of the multicam clip without having to add a bunch of extras on the outside. So once you've got that done, you're gonna wanna go come up here to view and you're gonna wanna change it to angles. Now this allows you to have both your angles in view. Um, I'll normally close down all of this stuff whenever I do this section of my editing. So if you want your audio from both clips to come in and you don't want to switch audios, you'll do command option and then click on the clips that you want and it'll pull the audio from both clips. Then you'll come up here and select a video and now you're switching video. Start playing the video clip and you just change your camera angles to from one to two from one to two, and you can just go back and forth hitting one and two and changing your camera angles while you watch it. Now if you wanna go even faster, there's another keyboard shortcut. If you hit L, it'll play your video, but then if you hit L again, it'll play it at two times speed. So you can slow it down and speed it up based on what you need from your editing. And then if you need to go backwards, you can hit J. So your hands never have to leave your keyboard in order to edit this whole interview and you can speed it up, slow it down, you can switch camera angles and it's an extremely fast workflow that can get you done in way less time. And for me this has been a game changer whenever I learned this because I know that you know if you're editing an hour long piece of content you don't want to sit there and go back and watch it over and over and over and over again. It just takes forever so if you can speed things up and your hands don't have to leave the keyboard, it makes your whole process a million times easier. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Final Cut Pro hack. If there's any other tips or tricks that you'd like to see from Final Cut Pro, please leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.